everybody, welcome to Live at Five on Monday, August the 15th. And oh, we've got a wicked special guest <laughs> for you today, guest. Michael Campano, who of course plays Piero. So we're going to whip through the news and then I'm going to try and get to all of your questions. Um, so just hold on, bear with us. Okay, we just had some breaking news that went live at five. Yeah, just, just went up, literally. just a second. So uh, we have the cast for The Price that's coming to Broadway this spring. Roundabout? Uh, yes, with Roundabout, American Airlines Theater. So we have John Turturro, Tony mm -hmm. Shalhoub, both Emmy winners. For the same show? Yeah, for Monk. Both yeah. of them went for Monk. And uh, Jessica Hecht, who's currently on Broadway in Fiddler. So it's great news. Um, yeah. She's obviously, I think, with Fiddler's the end of the run in December, and then she'll go after this show. Right. Uh, performances begin in February. All right, so this is interesting. Everybody seems to be doing this Mary Poppins movie. Yeah, I feel like we're getting new names like every day now. Um, but we love Ben Whishaw, and yes. I did a one-on-one -on -one with Ben Whishaw recently. Mm -hmm. He was just on Broadway in The Crucible. Yes. Um, so he's in talks to play uh, Michael Banks, so like the grown-up version of Michael from the original film. So this one is set 20 years after that one. This um, is, so yeah. this might work. So What's we have film? Emily Blunt and Lin-Manuel Miranda yeah. are officially confirmed. Um, and then they're saying Meryl Streep is in talks, maybe even Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke could make a cameo, but that's, those are all rumors right now. He's so. the only one that can get away with an English accent that bad. <laughs> Dick Van Dyke is sort of allowed. Nobody else, nobody else. <laughs> all right, also Jeremy Jordan's been talking away, hasn't yeah, he, about so Newsies? Yeah, so he gave an interview about doing Newsies once more, uh, so he's going to go into uh, the tour for one night only, just a special performance so they can film it, uh, so they can show it in theaters around the world uh, early next year. Uh, so he's obviously very excited yeah. for that. He was also asked, though, if he would do a uh, movie version, like an actual film of the musical. And sadly, he'd probably be too old by the time that actually came to fruition. Yes. Which but yeah, but admit, he's doing but... other things. And you'll still get to see him man. on the big screen here exactly. for this. Exactly. So. Um, and Lana Gordon, Gordon takes over as well, McKelly in Chicago tonight, mm -hmm. uh, filling in for Amra Faye yeah. Wright. So she's never done it on Broadway. She's done a handful of yeah. European stints in Chicago before, so that's so exciting for her. Welcome, welcome back to the Broadway, Lana. Um, okay, odds and ends today. Uh, Marissa Jarrett Winkle would like to make a cameo in Hairspray Live. That's no big surprise. Yeah, of course, you know, uh -huh. Tony winner for yeah, it. Absolutely. She and uh, Maddie had like a little. Uh, meet up. Thing. The one, so, uh, Maddie uh, is that would Tracy, sort of be, yeah. you know, we're, we're up for that. We're up for that. <laughs> um, okay. I, 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 yeah. Can you say her name? Uh, uh, Alia Shawkat. Thank you. From Arrested Development, right? There you yeah. are. And uh, Aubrey Plaza. So, so they are doing Hamilton. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of, in um, a drunk Hamilton. So drunk, they're playing Hamilton and Aaron Burr in Drunk History. I've never seen yeah. this Drunk History thing. It's very funny. It sounds and like I my real life. Great, yeah. I did history at university. It's literally just me, really. Okay. Um... Um, Fiber Schwinkel has died sadly at the age of 93, um, who's a big star of Yiddish um, theatre. Mm -hmm. Also won an Emmy for Picket Fences. Um, this is a, a switching gears. Paramore has cancelled a few performances at the end of August to make creative changes. Yeah. So apparently this is like fairly normal for Cirque shows. I mean, this is a little different because now it's on Broadway yeah. and we're not really used to shows closing for a little bit after they open on Broadway. But apparently Cirque builds that into their schedule to make changes, so. I liked Paramore. I just, you know, put it out there. I had a really fun night when I went. Um, and Barbara Streisand and Seth MacFarlane will sing, uh, are singing Pure Imagination from her new album, also an Odds and Day. That was a fun video. Yeah, definitely. We love, we love Babs. We love Babs. <laughs> Did you go over the weekend? No. As if I would be talking about anything else had I gone to it. <laughs> Someone else did. Caitlin. Caitlin Gallup did. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay. No one actually wants I'll to see you. I'll get out of the way for Wicked. I know, I know. Way more important. Michael Campano from Wicked. Oh, Fiero is here. What's up? Be Thank in you guys. the house. Oh, that's beautiful. What other, what other sounds are on there? Uh, Do you ever use you, them? You, you, can, you, can go, you can go through. Thank There's probably so, something so. suitable. Uh, that's it, because you wanted to be interviewed by Paul and Torek today. I like, had a oh, hair off. That's it. Oh, yeah. So, and, I'm so, I'm so happy you're here. And you're stuck with me. I'll start um, with you. So really sorry I'll about that, Michael. I'll make my way up to Paul. Um, no. I'm Imogen with the bad hair. I mean, no. I'm not even Beth with the good hair. Beth's got amazing hair, but no. No, I mean, Paul's hair is truly A+, plus every time I see it. It's on So fake. I spent some extra time with my hair today, and I primped it in, in preparation for, for Paul. And he's but in I'll, London. I'll see you again, Paul. So I don't know what's going on there. That's not good. Um, so you're... Uh, you're Fiero. I'm on Fiero. Broadway. And I'm on Broadway. Um, it's, it's insane. It's my debut. I mean, this is yeah, incredible. That's my Broadway debut. I mean, you come in with this huge leading man role. Dream come true, I hope. Dream come true, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of hard work and a lot of dreaming. And yeah, I was in The Sound of Music Live, and that mm -hmm. was my first thing out of school. And then just hit the, yeah, hit well, the which, pavement. Which is right. amazing. 
Amazing. This is this back up here. So you're at school. You're still at Carnegie Mellon. I was still at Carnegie Mellon. It was my senior year. And then how did you get? So you were in Sound of Music Live. You were playing role for the shorts. With the shorts. With the shorts. Oh, I and miss that was those incredible. guys. But how how does that even feel? You're suddenly in a room with um, Carrie Very and Roger McDonald and Christian, Christian Ball, Borrell. Laura Bonanti. It was I mean, pretty unbelievable. But what I found is that they're so generous. And actors of, uh, of that talent are always so generous. Like I work with... Peter Scolari yeah. right now in Wicked, and, and, and those actors who've been there are so, so generous and really spend the time with you to, to check in on you and make sure. What is there a funny comment? It's probably someone's my coming, Someone's coming to the show tonight, I think. Coming to the show and tonight? Are you going to be signing at the stage door? Oh, I will be signing at Josh. the stage door. It says Josh. Josh O'Brien will be saying Josh, hello. you find me after, after the show. Uh, they're, they're Biggest MC, you'll Sorry, see. I interrupt you. So you're talking to all these incredible people. Yeah, working with all these just, incredible people. Mm -hmm. They just have great advice and they really take care of of younger, inexperienced people. So like what me. sort of the top piece of advice do you think you got from that period? I think, I think take time to learn resilience and everybody has a different path as an actor. I think people think there's a formula to get yeah. to where you want to be, but everybody has a different path. And I think resilience is the biggest thing, is, is just always going back. Never stop believing in yourself because that's really all you have in this business. And just keep pushing forwards my advice. So you're on Broadway and Wicked. I'm on Broadway um, and Wicked. Are you on Broadway and Wicked? I, I, I wish I was, I wish I was. You, Can't sing. Um, you're Carrie, on Broadway and Wicked. You, um, do you remember the first time you saw Wicked? I do remember the first time I saw Well, funny story actually. actually three actually, weeks ago. No. <laughs> yeah, sort of was before. No, I'm kidding. Um, it was a funny story. I saw Wicked in high school, but I went to Carnegie and we do a class junior year, a cabaret class. Yeah. And we get to work with a special celebrity person. Okay. And our year, we actually worked with Stephen Schwartz. Which was crazy. And guess what I sang? Dancing Through Life. That one. It was insane. insane. It was insane. So I, I wanted to sing something from God's Father or something, but yeah. my whole class was like, Michael, sing Dancing Through Life. And I was like, guys, why am I going to sing Dancing Through Life? Like, and they are like, you're going to play it someday. And I was like, stop it. <laughs> and you are. And here we are. And you are. Um, so how did it feel that first day? So be, being a put-in in a oh, show is... Oh, stop. I'm so no, sorry. sorry. Being a put-in in a show is, is a bit stressful, isn't it? Getting I mean, it's very, uh, very nerve-wracking. You're suddenly in rehearsal, whatever, and then you're on Broadway doing mm -hmm. it. Yeah. How was that experience for you? I mean, also in the middle of all that, making your Broadway debut. Just getting put into a show? Yeah. It's quick, let me tell you. But the people at Wicked run it so well that I felt so supported. And the dance captains were so great that I felt ready to go right away. Uh, but it's a quick. It's a quick. It's a quick. And you started the same night rest. as Jennifer. As I did. Right? So Jennifer that, that must have been helpful as, as well, that it, you were both coming into the show. It did. You know what? She made me feel so comfortable because she's done the role in... in every single company ever yeah. made of Wicked. You know, she's, yeah, she's... She's the real deal. She's also got my favourite ever production shot of Wicked. Have you the seen the fierce one? Yeah. That's like... It's amazing. Yeah, the, the No Good Deed yeah, one. Yeah, like, she loves that one oh, too. Yeah, it's, it's one, superb. Yeah, yeah. So she made me feel so comfortable and grounded. And people say their first week of, of performances, they're like, just think of them as your previews. And I was like, oh, yeah. But I'm so, I'm so like, type A that I'm like, I need to get this right now this is my first performance on broadway and it's going to be the best thing you've ever seen now our fans want want to know if you're going to get that possibly not get it? you can't take it away you can't take it can't take <laughs> no it what's your favorite <laughs> song we're being asked in wicked, in wicked? Yeah. my favorite song <laughs> da, da, da. um i think my favorite song is popular because those galindas are the funniest people. I've, Carrie St. Louis is the funniest, funniest person, person I've ever, ever met. And she fills that song with so much brilliance of, of her goofy self. Just oh, sorry, that. I'm sorry. No, 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 sorry, I'll, 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 I'll prompt you. So Madison would like to know uh, the favorite musical you've been in, because obviously you did, you did a lot in Pittsburgh. I did you? a lot in Pittsburgh, yeah. yeah. I've Do, been doing in Pittsburgh. my reading. I was so in Pittsburgh for like... <laughs> Don't, don't know. Are you a reporter? Hi, just you know, I finally might have done my research. Here. Very well. Um, so in Pittsburgh, maybe? In Pittsburgh, um, I was in Carousel. Mm. Way too young. I was a sophomore <laughs> in, in college. Way too young. But oh, I would right. love to now. revisit. Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, no, no, Julie Jordan. Is that you, Julie Jordan? <laughs> 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 um, I would love to revisit Carousel. I really want to do that, it again. That's a dream role. Stephen Pasquale. Move I'm just I'm kidding. Sorry, sorry, Steve. Sorry, Steve. But are there, seriously, are there any dreams? You're now on Wicked, 
Okay, on Broadway, yeah. after doing a dream role. Really, Have you got anything else that you would absolutely love to do? I really want to do a Shakespeare play. Yeah. We studied a lot of Shakespeare in school, and I love the language of it, and so Comedy active. Comedy or tragedy? There's hearts floating around. What is that? That's because they love you. Comedy or tragedy? I love uh, drama. I love the tragedies. I don't think Shakespeare co Shakespeare's comedies are funny. You're and very I can serious. say that because I'm I British. Love the tragedies. Oh, no, I don't think I don't think they're funny. I don't I don't sit there and laugh. Sorry, Mark <laughs> Rylance. I no, I don't. I love a good I love a good tragedy. I love a good tragedy. What's your favorite? I mean, what would you want to see right here, right now? Macbeth. Oh, you're Bet good. Best evil. She's good. Oh, or maybe, maybe Hamlet. Sometimes it depends on Hamlet. Yeah. I saw I saw Ben Whishaw's Hamlet, which is legendary, when he was like really he's sure. Your age. Sure. Maybe a bit younger, um, which is legendary in London. Hamlet's so great. So, so great. I, 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 I don't know. Um, okay, so you've been in, week, how long have you been in? This is my table? third week, so. Third week. Now, so this is a favorite question that's always in. Any onstage mishaps yet? I mean, you're wearing <laughs> white pants. I mean, you know, I, I was wearing white pants the other day and had, you know, three things on them. So there, any onstage mishaps? The cast yet? tells me some and I literally can't stop laughing. My first one was just last week and the rope swing sort of, has a mind of its own. So Fiero swings in on a, a rope at some yeah. point that I can't tell you when. And um, it sort of did a 360. So in in honor of the Olympics and Simone Biles, I sort of flew in on the rope, just did a 360 because I couldn't stop myself and somehow <laughs> landed. And I was just so shocked that I landed that because I thought I was going to roll down the stage that I, I was just like, huh. And then I f blanked. Oh. Blanked on my lines, but I recovered. You recovered. You are a professional, <laughs> that's why. Now, being asked if you've got any advice for a young musical actor who's 13 years old. Oh, that's awesome. You know what? I would... I started musical theater, acting, anything, training, not until my senior... Not until really, like, my senior year of high school. So what I would wish was that I just started getting in the community of it and training much younger. My, I wish I would have danced a lot more yeah, it's still fun yeah. there's still time is, is that you're, you're not, you're not but just get be just get involved cats, is what you're right saying. right right just see see everything see everything you can that's my biggest and if you can't advice. watch lots of broadway.com um exactly. caitlin any more questions coming in that i can't see um, oh, oh I, don't, I know it's very very little very very little writing so you grew up in pittsburgh when did you know that um theater was for you was it at, in high school or you know what i was, was a swimmer a Swimming? I was a competitive swimmer okay. for a long time, and that was my, mm -hmm. my dream or my path, so I thought, and I got injured, as you do. Paul was, I saw the, um, Paul was interviewing somebody, the kid from Phantom, and he was talking about, me too, my friend, I uh, tore my rotator cuff mm -hmm. swimming, and cause swimming is brutal in high school. I don't know, if you go before, you know. I went to a girls' school, we just, <laughs> although apparently there were two I went to swimmers, a guys' school. Two girls, two girls beat each other up in the swimming the other day, I think, in the Olympics, but that's the Olympics. Very not well. Not my school. So um, I got in through through that. I just I just found it, and a couple of my good friends were were doing musicals my sophomore year of high school, and I just kind of fell into it. And and my whole f I'm the youngest of six, so all of my older brothers and sisters dabbled. Oh, did they all dabble? Did yeah. they still dabble? My brother, yeah, he was in Mary Poppins on Broadway, and he was just he just closed up Trip of Love. He's an amazing dancer, and he's. I a, saw him. He was. I saw him because I I went I went to do um I, I went to go and shoot the meet and greet for. Oh, great. I'm going to get her name wrong, and then all the dance moms people are going to hate her. <laughs> Mia Sue. That's her. She's a Pittsburgh. Yeah. Look, 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 look. I was, you know, flip, flipping over hey, into another show here. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot going hey, on. There's a lot I'm here going for you. on. You have a lot of people. Um, thank you. So, Caitlin, what, what else have we missed? Um, someone asked earlier, how do you keep your voice healthy and your body healthy? Uh, mm. That's the biggest challenge that I've, I've, I've been dealing with um, or finding and getting into that routine. You have to sleep. Let me tell you, and you just have to, it's, everything comes with a cost, right? So it's just not going out and partying every night. I love steaming. Steaming has been a great thing. I have this pure mist. Um, really helped. Um, eating healthy. I like to run and work out, so I, that's just there anyway. But it, it is a lot of sacrifice. You can't just, you can't just do whatever you want anymore. You're not young kids anymore, you know? If you could play a lead role in any musical next to someone who next would it be who would, you, who would you star Stop. opposite that's really i mean i'm already starting next to two incredible, incredible women women are you an option no. <sighs> i'd have been i'd have been discovered already trust me i love i worked with laura benante already in the sound of music but she is just 
a genius she actress. She is a genius. And an innovator. Did That's what I love about her. Did you see She Loves Me? I... No. I'll watch it's... it live because it's, it's Yeah, no, filmed. no, it's, it's, filmed. it's filmed. I didn't get a chance to. That's when I... I just did not get a chance to. Are you going to... What do you do about Hairspray Live? Are you, you going to be able to watch that live? Or are you going to You know be... what? I don't... I think we'll have a show. We'll have a show. But... I mean, is that weird? Have you watched the other ones? Having been I in did, that, having yeah. the first one, which was this massive hit. Yes. Did you then watch the others, or you were like, no, I this did. is a bit weird, and I, I feel a bit sad? <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Sad. No, but it's like, you know, a bit wistful that you're not a part of it, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I felt, it, I liked watching it better, because I, I understood the amount of, of pressure and yeah, stress yeah. that people felt in that moment. So, so the next year, when they did Peter, Peter Pan, Pan, I was love it i sat on my couch with my roommates and i was i loved just like watching it and i was like i know exactly how they were christian feel. ball's arms like the same when he did the sound of music or were they different by the time he got to peter pan live who P christian ball's arms <laughs> he's no, just no, a he, buff dude and he's very buff he was, he was very very buff in peter pan obviously we didn't know in sound of music he was a buff dude in sound of music okay he's already a buff dude he just, yeah okay. he's just a buff dude we, we we get all the breaking news yeah the five five, the quite inside frankly. scoop inside scoop <laughs> that's us he's just a buff dude um, now, I always like to bring it back to the show. I love that about you. I am. Uh, why do you think audiences love Wicked as much as you do? Also love Fiat. Sorry, I just saw the Jonah Flat. I love Jonah Flat. Did he give me any advice? He's, he said the show's in good legs. Yeah, funny so. that. Yeah. Um, why, why do you think audiences love Wicked as much as you do? And also Fiero. Ah, uh, you know what? I, th I love Wicked, and I think audiences love Wicked because... There's so many reoccurring themes that are always happening. And it's this true story of like everybody trying to demask themselves to find their happiness. So Fiero, of course, is like comes off as this like playboy, quirky, and it's truly there's so many discoveries in his his arc and everybody else's arc. And it just keeps it so fresh. And I, I think that's what everybody, every person is always going through in life, these discoveries and finding true happiness, which each character is is after. So I think I think everybody can really connect to it, and I think people just really feel like the characters are so well written. It's just they keep coming back to see those journeys. There we go, Michael yeah. Campana. Thank you oh, so thank you much so joining much. us live at five. One more thank time. you, everyone at live at five, and we will see you tomorrow at five p.m. Have a good thank evening. Thank you.